Hi, and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. It's dinosaur week this week. We've been drawing lots of dinosaurs because I just launched my new book called The Ancient Redwoods about twins named Hazel and Leo who are hiking through the redwood forest and they're imagining up all kinds of dinosaurs because redwood trees are ancient and so of course that makes sense. Because dinosaurs are ancient. Exactly. So if you are interested in dinosaurs like my kids are, I think you'll like this book. All right, and if you want to check it out, there's a link to the Amazon listing or Barnes & Noble listing in the description below. And make sure you subscribe to our channel because we post lots of fun videos and fun um, tutorials on how to draw things. So make sure you subscribe. Okay, <laughs> should we get started on our pteranodon? So the pteranodon's wingspan goes across diagonally on the paper and the body and the head go across this way. So it's almost like we're making an X. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the eye right here and just do a nice small eye leave a highlight in there and then you can put some little lashes on there if you want and then right above the eye we're gonna draw a line that just slowly tapers up at first and then it goes up pretty fast after that Good. And so, oh, I forgot to mention, we're using ultra fine point right now because we're doing some small details, but later we're gonna go over some of our outlines with the thicker fine point, and that will help it look good. Cause like lines like these, they don't look the best with the fine point, ultra fine point, but we'll, we'll make them look better later on. Okay. Just right next to the eye. Yeah, right there, good job. Do just a little tiny diagonal line anyone good job okay and then we're gonna draw a line from here that leads up to there and it it's almost a straight line let me show you but then it curves in and right at the last second there yeah bring it in 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 <laughs> all right and now we're gonna do just a nice little line right here. Good. Okay, so now the bottom bill doesn't go as far as the top bill, so let's see. Right about here, we're gonna have a line that meets up right there. Good. And then it, so think about how thick you want it right here and then meet it up over there. Good, that's looking so good. So now we're gonna draw a little line back here. Good, and then we're going to draw kind of like a cheek right here, and then two lines. Good, okay. So this line doesn't meet up with that one, so we both did it right, good. Okay, so we're going down as the neck. Perfect. That's looking so good. All right, let's do the crest. So the crest is kind of like a, um, not a rainbow, but it goes up and then down. Okay. So it's like a flattened rainbow, a flattened but rainbow. not full. Yeah. yeah. So it goes to about here and it stays about to there. So we're going to go up and then back down. Yeah. Did you call it? A crest? Yeah. Is that the right word? Okay, good. My kids know a bit more about dinosaurs than I do. Now it looks like it has a huge neck or it's an underwater dinosaur. Oh yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna do a line right here. And then we're gonna bring this back and join it up at the end. 
And then from this line, we're going to go back to bring it in. And then we're going to make little stripes along here. Very nice. Okay, so this is the back of the head. It comes down to right there. Perfect. And then think about how thick the neck is supposed to be and make sure you came down far enough on the head. And then bring your neck back at sim like a similar angle to that. Perfect. And then there's a little hump right here. Okay, so the wing is gonna come to right here. Like that's where that little angle is. And so we want to do a curve that leads up to that angle. Perfect. All right, and you can fix that line up with your thicker Sharpie later. Okay, and now we're gonna do down here. So we'll do a little curved line there. And then it comes up a little bit to right there. And then we're gonna do the wing down to here. Okay. And then there's like these two little claws right there. And then a line here. So now we're gonna do the body. And you know, for the rest of this, we're gonna, I'm gonna switch to this marker. It's a little easier. Do you want to or no? You're not gonna? Okay, so I'm gonna do the belly. And then this wing from like, so here's where that hump was. And then we make the bottom of that wing. And then it's gonna go out. And I'll only go part way. We'll finish up that wing in just a second. Okay, so both of the legs do show. So this is, the first one that shows. And then this is the second one that shows. And then you make kind of these weird little talons. So let's finish off this wing and then we'll move to that wing. Okay, so we do a little, yep, a little line like that, and then finish it off to the edge of where your wing was. No big deal if it goes off the edge. So now we're gonna finish off this wing. So now we're gonna go out to here and then connect it to that. Perfect. And then we'll need, let me just thicken up that line real quick. Okay, so now we'll need the little talons on this side too. And then we'll need a line here, here, and here. All right, so now I'm just gonna finish thickening up my lines. There's some like little muscle wrinkle things right there. And uh, 
And it's totally fine to leave some of your stuff fine tip. Um, you don't have to thicken up every single line. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just like kind of these edges maybe you could thicken up. I'm thinking about thicken up the outlines. So take as much time as you need to get your lines how you want it and get it real nice and, and polished looking before you start coloring. And feel free to pause it if you need to have more time. Okay, are we ready? Mm -hmm. I decided to go a more colorful approach on mine. Maybe I'm channeling my little four-year-old. <laughs> she likes rainbow. And um, as you can see, I added some like veins that you can see in the wing. And that's what I did in my book. So I thought I'd try it in this. And it, I think it worked out good. And she went for the brown approach with a red crest. So that looks really awesome. Good job. All right, well, we would love to see how yours turns out. Tag me at Sarah Hatch Art Studio and on Instagram, and we'd love to see yours. Make sure you subscribe. All right, see you next time.